Good Wednesday morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Brett Luna, and we are off to a dry start here in the Delta. Over the past six hours, our radar has not picked up on any rain falling here for us. Same story goes for the entire state. Everybody has stayed dry overnight as well. Conditions will begin to change a little bit as we go into the later parts of the afternoon and early evening, though, as we have a cold front moving our direction. Temperatures close to average for this morning. We're at 53 in Greenville. Winds coming out of the southwest at three miles an hour. Over in Greenwood, starting this morning off with similar conditions right now at 51, but calm winds in Greenwood. And that's where most of us are at this morning, seeing temperatures in the low and mid 50s. 54 up in Clarksdale, 54 also for Vicksburg. Jackson is one of the coolest spots on the map right now at 48. Over here in the more eastern and northeastern part of the state, we're also looking at temperatures in the low 50s, 53 for both Starkville and up in Tupelo. Now, as you're heading to work or heading to school, we are going to be staying dry, not expecting any rain here in the Delta for the morning hours. Same story goes for your lunch hour. We should still be dry at lunch, but then by 5 o'clock, really 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock this afternoon, Futurecast is bringing this cold front into our area, and that is going to bring the rain chance along with it as well. So by about 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock, more of our northwestern counties could be seeing some of this rain moving in. And then as we go on into the rest of the night, we are going to continue to see this rain chance increase. This cold front going to continue off on this easterly track that will bring just a little bit more widespread activity over us around midnight and into the early morning hours. And then for the rest of the morning on Thursday by 7 o'clock, at least our far southwestern counties should be staying dry. Most of us will be dry southwest, but our more northeastern counties could still be seeing a little bit of rain wrapping around this low pressure system. And then moving on into the rest of Thursday, we should be dry by the early afternoon hours for the most part. Maybe still just a little bit more rain remaining in our more northeastern counties. And with this system, most of us are looking at about an inch of rain falling, so not too much in terms of any rain. Some of our areas further north could see just a little bit more than an inch. But as far as thunderstorm activity goes, just a chance for a couple of thunderstorms. Not expecting too much thunderstorm activity with this system. We'll be in the low 70s by noon, mid 70s expected by 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock. That is about average for this time of year. And then as we go on into the rest of the night, we are expecting temperatures to drop down into the mid 60s by 8 o'clock and low 60s for 10 o'clock. Otherwise, expect partly cloudy skies for most of the day today. Until we get into the later parts of the afternoon and evening, we are going to see our cloud cover on the increase. Also, seeing our chance for showers increasing late tonight, lows will be at 54. Tomorrow, 66 for the high, so we're going to drop about 10 degrees behind this cold front. And over the next seven days, Saturday and Sunday, looking very nice. Mostly sunny skies with highs in the low 70s and upper 70s.